Let us examine converting US customary units of volume. We're going to discuss what these units are and then we're going to convert from smaller to larger units and then from larger to smaller units. So here are the units we'll focus on in this lesson. The fluid ounce, the cup, pint, quart, and gallon. And let's look at the conversion rates. 8 ounces make up a cup, 2 cups make up a pint, 2 pints a quart, and 4 quarts a gallon. So let's take a look at that again. 8 ounces make a cup, 2 cups make a pint, 2 pints make a quart, and 4 quarts make a gallon. So let's go ahead and do some conversion. So we know that. 8 ounces make 1 cup, 2 cups make a pint. Okay, so the ratio of cups to pint is 2 to 1. So how many pints are there in 12 cups? So cup to pint is equal to 12 to x. So we're using the equal ratio approach. So 2 over 1 is equal to 12 over x. Let's go ahead and cross product this. And we have 2 times x equal to 12 times 1. We divide by 2. So, x is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, we have 12 cups equals 6 pints. Next question, how many quarts are there in 6 pints? So, we know that 1, well, uh, one pint is 2 cups, one quart is two pints. So we have quart two pints, so equal ratios is x to six. So one over two is equal to x over six. Now we're going to cross product this and that is going to lead us to 2 times x is equal to 6 times 1. Divide both sides by 2, x equal to 3. So what that means to us is that 6 pints equal to 3 quarts. Next example. How many gallons are there in 3 quarts? We know that there are 4 quarts in a gallon. So we have quart 2 gallon is gallon is GAL. We have 4, 2, 1. So let's go ahead. So we have quart 2 gallon is equal to 3 to x. So let's get our fraction going. 4 over 1 is equal to 3 over x. Let's go ahead and cross product this. And we have 4 times x equal to 3 times 1. We divide both sides by 4. So x is equal to 3 over 4. So therefore, 3 quarts is equal to 3 fourths of a gallon. Now we're going to convert larger units to smaller units. How many cups are there in 3 pints? So we know that 2 cups make up one pint. So 
So the ratio of cups to pints is 2 to 1 is equal to x to 3. So we grade our fraction 2 over 1 is equal to x over 3. Let's cross product this. And we have 2 times 3 is equal to 1 times x. So 6 equal to x. What that means is that we have 6 cups equal to 3 pints. Next one, how many quarts are there in 2 gallons? We have 4 quarts in 1 gallon. So, quart 2 gallon is 4 to 1. Now, let's create an equal ratio. 4 quarts 1 gallon equal to x quarts 2 gallons. Let's create our fraction. 4 over 1 equal to x over 2. And now we can cross product this. And that gives us 1 times x is 4 times 2. So x equal to 8. So therefore, in 2 gallons, we have 8 quarts. Final example, how many cups are there in 4 quarts? So we have 2 cups make up 1 pint. 2 pints make up 1 quart. So therefore, if we have 2 pints in 1 quart, that means that we have 4 cups in 1 quart. So now let's go ahead and create our ratio. So cup to quart is 4 to 1. So this is going to be equal to x to 4. So 4 over 1 is equal to x over 4. Now we can cross product this. So we have 1 times x is equal to 4 times 4. So x is equal to 16. So therefore, there are 16 cups equal to 4 